Well, welcome back, guys, to Kingdom Hearts. Let's continue on. Now, I did do a couple more things off-screen. What I did was, I went ahead and got the rest of the arts items from the White Mushrooms. Now, for the most part, they're the same positions that they were in the original Kingdom Hearts. However, in the Final Mix version, the stop one had to be moved because its position got taken by a special Heartless. That's it. It was basically in that cave that leads up to where Ariel, Ariel's Grotto is, so they had to move that one to where the sunken ship area is. Other than that though, the positions are all the same. Gravity 1 can still be found in Agrabah's treasure chamber, Arrow 1 can be found in Halloween Town's graveyard, and the Cure 1 is found in the deep jungle by the camp. Now I did also gain another one more level while I was gathering some synthesis materials. I was able to make a 3 stars accessory. Reduces fire, ice, and lightning damage by 20%, and significantly raises defense. It's a pretty solid item, I would say. Oh, and because I expanded the synthesis shop a little bit more, the Moogles gave me an extra ability called Encounter Plus. Now, this is a unique ability to Final Mix. It increases odds of encountering enemies in the field. I think it just means that you don't have to go away two screens to make enemies respawn now. I think that's how it works anyway. Okay, so now that we have all the arts items, let's talk to Merlin. You're becoming a real sorcerer. Here's something for your effort. Goofy obtained the Dream Shield! Thank you, Merlin. Now, I think the Dream Shield is actually one of my favorite pieces of equipment for Goofy. A shield to protect loved ones raises max MP by 2. The fact that it re uh, raises his MP, which is really rare for his shields, is just really good. So, that's cool. Alright guys, so like I said before, this chapter is going to be a bit of an interlude. We're going to be visiting Winnie the Pooh. So, let's get to it. Now, this book is where all those torn pages that we've been finding in the various worlds will come into play. First off, we're going to have to head here. An empty meadow. Let's take a look. Hey there, Pooh Bear. Sink, 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 sink. Let's go say hi to him. Hi there. What's wrong? Nothing. I just thinking. Oh. I was thinking of how to say goodbye to Pooh. Pooh? Yes. Wait a second. You're Pooh? Yes, I'm Winnie the Pooh. Pooh for short. Who are you? I'm Sora. Oh, hello, Sora. Have you come to say goodbye to Pooh, too? Well, no. Why would I do that? We've only just met. Because everyone's gone away. What do you mean? Well, we all left here in the Hundred Acre Wood. And we'd take walks together. Or play poo sticks. And every day, I'd eat some honey. Or just one small smackerel would taste very good right now. But now, everyone is gone. All my friends, and my favorite honey tree, too. Everyone must have gone away while I was napping, I think. So, who knows? Maybe I shall end up going away somewhere as well. But I wonder, how do I say goodbye to myself? Think, think, think. Hmm. Oh, poor Pooh Bear. My tumbly is getting rather rumbly. 
So yes, welcome to the Hundred Acre Wood. And it seems like a lot of his favorite places and his friends have disappeared on him. Wonder what that could be about. Apparently build their treasure chest. Mithril Shard, nice. Next up, I think we have to go to Pooh's house. An odd sign hangs above this house's door. Sure. So let's see if Pooh's hanging around here. See ya. Mr. Sanders. I think we can hit this up here. Yep. I did something. No, oh, mother. There's no more honey left. If only the honey tree would visit. Oh, then I could eat my fill. Good to see you still have a one-track mind there, Pooh. So hitting that thing on the roof made a mega ether fall out. And in here is an elixir. That's pretty cool. So I think we're gonna have to help Pooh out. And luckily we have the torn pages to do that. Oh, hi Al. Unfortunately, some of the pages are missing, so I can't tell you yet. The pages are scattered over many worlds. Would you find them for us? I think I can do that, Al. Considering I have them all already. Okay, so the first torn page. A tall, curious tree buzzing with bees. Let's take a look. It is a pretty tall no. tree. Is anyone there? Oh, what am I to do? I'm all alone. Pooh. Pooh. Where are you? It's me, Piglet. Well, at least Piglet's okay. <gasps> there he goes. I don't think there's any treasure in this area. So what we have to do is sneak up behind Piglet. And gotcha. Oh, oh dear. I was just just never mind. I'm sorry. Don't be scared, little guy. Don't be scared. You're looking for Pooh, right? You know Pooh. <sighs> You see, I, I have something for him. I have to take it to Pooh right away. <laughs> oh, there oh, he is. Pooh! Oh, I believe I smell a delicious something. A something like honey. Pooh! Hello, Piglet. How have you been? I'm so glad to see you. I thought you'd gone away. I brought what you asked for. <laughs> Thank you, Piglet. Now I can finally have some honey. Really? But, 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 but how? 
I shall hold on to the balloon and fly like a bee up the honey tree, see? But if you take their honey, won't the bees be angry? Hmm. Oh! You didn't really think this through, did you? Alright, I suppose we should help with his addiction. If you could only chase away those bees, I'm quite certain I could get a small morsel of honey. Could you help me get some? Sure, why not? So I'll basically act as the tutorial for these minigames. Because in the Hundred Acre Wood, there isn't actually any combat, only minigames. That's an odd place to store, honey. I'm basically just gonna skim through this, because really all you have to do is let Pook hover up the tree on the balloon and then just smack away any bees that try to pop his balloon. Yes, yes, I know how to do this mini game. Now, the rush command is a command you can use if you fall down to the tree. It'll help you get up the branches quickly, but it's unreliable. Well, yeah, like he just said. So yeah, just guard poo from the bees, basically. Oops. Okay, that's a bad start. <laughs> Every time you hit the beast, it does get you some air time, like you saw there. Get used to this song in this world, because you're going to be hearing it a lot. And I think for the most part, we can just stay on this branch for the rest of the minigame. I think that's the highest point that Pooh can get to. Yep, so it's pretty easy from here on out. Well, looks like he'll get over 200 at this rate. That's pretty cool. They only pop the balloon once.
It is rather funny what I will do for honey. <laughs> Good for you, Pooh. The torn page turned into a new item. Obtained Nature's Park. Now, believe it or not, that's the last summon gem of the game. So we'll be turning that into the Fairy Godmother after this. Next up is... Rabbit's House, I believe. A broad expanse of vegetable fields. Let's go! Time to visit Rabbit. letter inside. I hope we'll be finding more honey together soon. Of course you will. Hey there, guys. No, he isn't, is he? Who's been calling and calling, but the house says no one's there. Nobody's home. That's right, nobody. Hmm. Okay, then. Sounds suspicious. Good thing the front door is unlocked. Of course, it's Rabbit. I'm actually surprised if Pooh could fit through there. Oh, so you came all the way over here to your friend's house just for honey. That seems a little bit selfish, Pooh. I'm sure they'll come back, Piglet. Now that didn't sound suspicious at all, Rabbit. Of course, he's got honey hidden up on the in the rafters. Do you honestly think he would turn it down? You're always hungry, Pooh. Of course he is. Gotta love that one-track mind of his. Yes, you already said that, Piglet. I think we just need to head for the exit next. Yep, there we go. Oh dear. I saw this coming. Oh, help and bother. Came in through this hole, so it must have shrunk. That's a good deduction there. Well, you do have a front door in all, Rabbit. Do I have to talk to him outside the house, too? 
I must have. <laughs> of course, the only thing he's worried about is eating more honey. A bit of carrot top juice will do the trick. I have a carrot patch on the other side of the stream. Carrot top juice is just a ticket to slimming down a poo. Huh? Oh hey! If it isn't Tigger! Boing! <laughs> Hey there! Name's Tigger! T I double go er! That spells Tigger! Well now, I don't think I've ever seen you before. Hello, Tigger! You've just bounced my new friend, Sora. Hey, Pooh! Say, you're looking mighty uncomfy today. Is that some new exercise? Why, bouncing around is a lot more fun! <sighs> Why do you bounce around so much, Tigger? Why? Because bounce is what Tiggers do best! Of course. Speaking of which, my bouncing spot has gone and disappeared. So for now, this will be my new bouncing ground. <laughs> I'm sure Rabbit's not going to be too happy about that. But at least Tigger's okay. All right, I can try to keep him away. Hello again, Al. We'll have to protect this carrot patch. If Tigger bounces on a carrot twice, it'll be buried. I'm just gonna skim for this as well. I don't really need this tutorial. Basically, all you have to do is run around and stop Tigger from bouncing on the carrots. If he bounces on a carrot twice, it's gone forever. Protect the carrots from Tigger's bounces and you'll receive points. Simply get to the carrots before Tigger lands on them. There are 15 carrots here. Your score depends on how many you save and how many times you block Tigger. Once again, we can use the rush command here. Select Rush while near a carrot that isn't buried yet. We'll dash to the target area before Tigger lands. Again, the rush isn't reliable. It'll get you to the general area, but it may not put you directly where the carrot is. <clears throat> Alright, let's do this. Twelve bounces. I guess that's not bad. And we saved fourteen of the fifteen carrots. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, what's going on? Nobody keeps up with tiggers. Hmm, maybe there's something wrong with my tail. <laughs> we did keep up with him pretty good. I will say that. You do that, rabbit. 
Also, I don't really know why, but you can pull out his vegetables. Oh, that's why. Some of them have items under it. Not many of them do, though. Not like anything un amazing is under them, though. Okay, then. Alright then, Pooh Bear. Let's get you out of here. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> Poor rabbit. <coughs> oh, bother. Oh, where am I? It's ever so dark in here. Well, it isn't so bad, I suppose. <laughs> There is plenty of honey. <laughs> <laughs> this time we got a mithril shard. Neat. Right, now this next mini game coming up is probably my least favorite of these. A swing hangs from a stout tree. Let's go. That looks like Eeyore. And it is! What are you doing, doing floating down the river there, Eeyore? Good to see he's he's his good old pessimistic self. Just floating down the river, Pooh. Let's help him out, of course. What are you doing? He's building something. Alright, here we got ya. Uh-oh, lost your tail again, huh? Aw, oh, don't be like that, we'll find it. that'd be too easy, so we're gonna have to do this ourselves. Okay then, let's guide Pooh to the swing. Now to guide him, you have to lock onto him. And I think for the most part, he should follow you. He's just a little slow. Come on, lazy bones, keep up. Okay, we're almost there now.
First, get ready to push. Press R1 to give Poo a push. Okay. Press R1 before he swings back to the bottom. If you time it right, Poo will swing higher and higher. Alright, so you need to pretty much push right at the time when he's when he spreads his wings. Push it. Push it again. Oh, wow, that was perfect. That was a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Usually it takes me a couple tries to get it right. I used to think that you had to wait until he was done flapping his wings to push it, but you have to do it right as he's doing it. Anyway, we got Eeyore's tail back. There you go, buddy. I'm working on it, Pooh Bear. So that was pretty quick. Obtain the power of time. Stop has been upgraded to Stopra. So that's cool. Here's the next spot. A clearing crowded with tree stumps. 